Hey, what's happening, road warriors? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good in your hood? I hope it's the weather because here I gotta scream over the sound of the rain that is pattering on my car right now. The rain is just coming down in sheets. Like, not drops, sheets. Sheets of rain, man. Like, I have six hours of Grubhub scheduled today. I'm not gonna drop them because of the weather. Let me tell you, man, for those of you in the East Coast, it's like tropical conditions, man. The rain, it's like every three days there's a monsoon. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's one of the pitfalls of this job, too. You gotta drive in it. Especially now, it's about 10, it's about 10 after 6. It's still rush hour and everybody's in a rush. They don't care if it's raining, people are speeding, they don't care. Not me. I'm extra careful in this stuff. Driving at my own pace. Hope you guys are too. So anyway, let's uh, forget about the weather. It's hard to concentrate, to be honest. This rain is like deafening. But I, I wanted to talk about Grubhub and uh, I meet a lot of new drivers lately who multi-app. Everybody multi-apps. They turn Grubhub on and off, on and off all day. I'm like, that's not how you do Grubhub, man. You don't multi-app with Grubhub. Grubhub is the app that makes you forget all the other apps. Now look, maybe DoorDash is number one in other communities and other towns, other states. Here where I live, Grubhub is number one, and I see no other reason to do any other app, unless you're doing it for reasons such as this, like Postmates, for example. I use it, I do it, I use it uh, to so I can uh, find an order that's gonna get me into the Grubhub region. So like today, let's say, one hour before the block started, I turned Postmates on, I found an order that would take me into the region because I live 20 minutes away from my region my Grubhub region so why not get paid to drive into it instead of wasting 20 minutes and driving 9 miles or whatever 8 miles uh, to, to drive into the region you know turn Postmates on and you, you know Postmates is good you can find out where the customer lives and is located but guys let me tell you what, I, what, what happened though I made a mistake because I didn't realize that Postmates is getting busier in my neighborhood. And so when I got to the Shake Shack to pick up the Postmates order, I saw that the customer lived in the Grubhub region, within the region. I said, all right, I'll take this. When I got there, they kept adding stops to my list. They kept adding orders to my list without me, you know, I had no choice in the matter. <coughs> Holy cow, look at that lake. Are you guys seeing this right now? Look at that. Tarantula. It's dramatic, so it's good for YouTube. As long as it's dramatic, it's good for YouTube. Back to the topic at hand, okay. So, I got to the Shake Shack, I picked up the order, and all of a sudden, Postmates sent two more orders onto my uh, list without me accepting them they just throw the orders on there i was like oh no am i gonna have time to deliver them i have a grubhub block starting and i may not have time and even worse i may deliver a, an order that's outside of the grubhub region <coughs> because when you accept an order you only know where your first destination is when, when Postmates just adds orders to your list, they're doing that and not telling you where the customer location is. So I was worried that I was gonna have something that was gonna take me outside of the region and I would have had to have dropped my blocks. But come to think of it, I think dropping my blocks would have been a good idea today because this is some of the hardest rain I've ever seen in my life. <coughs> what happened was I wound up delivering the food on time and finished, I delivered my last one like five minutes before my Grubhub block started. 
And sure enough, all three customers lived in the Grubhub region. So uh, my point here with this video is, if you only plan on doing one Postmates order, if you want to just, you know, do one more or stay out an extra hour or whatever, stay out an extra half hour, accept the order and then toggle off multiple deliveries on the app. Toggle it off. So like this, uh, Postmates won't keep sending you deliveries because they'll do that. They'll keep piling them on. If, if, if you're at like a hot restaurant, like a Shake Shack or a Chipotle, uh, Postmates is just going to throw orders onto your list and you won't have any choice in the matter. You won't be able to uh, decide whether to accept or reject. So guys, keep that in mind. Remember, if you want to do just one Postmates order and, and you don't want to get hit with a whole bunch of deliveries, uh, remember, just go into your top right-hand corner where it says stops, two stops, three stops. Hit that button and then toggle off multiple deliveries and you will not receive any more orders from Postmates. Anyways, guys, wish me luck out here, man. I may, I may just float away somewhere into some river, man. It is bad. If you guys are driving in this stuff, if you're living in the New York City area, in the East Coast or whatnot, and you're doing this, you're a true road warrior. That's right. No rain's gonna stop us from making that money. Hell no. The rain ain't gonna stop that paper from flowing. Be well, be safe, keep riding, and keep on shining. Until next time, this is Antonio, signing off.